Um, and I love Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, your house is amazing. Um, <laughs> oh <my> guys, <laughs> I think mine's broken. Hey, it's your girl, Emily Curl with iHeartRadio, and it is the most wonderful time of the year. And here to put us in the holiday spirit, we have country music artist Mitchell Tidmini. I mean, Mitchell, I, talk to me about this sweater for a moment because I, I need mean, it. It's way better than mine. <laughs> online, just, just got it in, just put it on. We got some jingle bells. Uh, it's not itchy at all, I promise. It's Yes, it's very itchy. No, we're here. I mean, the tinsel is I mean, good. Come on. I'm just a Christmas tree. I feel like I'm like snow, so I'm still, I'm kind of there. Okay. That's cool. So we are, today we're going to do a little Christmas crafting. We have some gingerbread houses. And we're also going to talk about some new music. But more importantly, I want to really make the best gingerbread house of all time. Now, I'm pretty competitive. I'm pretty competitive too. Yeah. I'm I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of looking at how this house needs to be built already based on the ingredients and materials we have. So I think we'll be good. Fun fact, Mitchell was actually trying to cheat earlier. I had to stop him. He was breaking apart the the crumbs. I was just making sure sure everything was there to start with, just to be fair. Okay, so (laughs) we're going to dive in. Before we do, to kick us off, I want you to tell me, what is your most favorite Christmas song? What gets you really in the Christmas spirit? Right, Carrie. All I want for Christmas, for sure. That's your go-to? I mean, that's that's the best one. I love it. Okay, so I've seen that in my head. Okay, here we go. Are you ready to dive in? We doing it? All We're right, it okay. three, two, it's not even a time race, but I'm making one. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's do <laughs> right, it. Let's go. Okay, All so right. we have lots of pieces here. Yeah, so I'm, um, okay. Oh, you're going straight for the frosting. Well, I think that's that's the mortar, right? That's how you get the pieces together. You're so right. Okay, so you're frosting it up. Oh, no, I could, eat, I could eat a whole thing of this. Yeah, I know. This, 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 like this might just get eaten before. Oh, wait, look. Oh, you can, oh, they help the? you. Okay, now I'm learning. Um, so is this a bad time to tell you? I'm actually a terrible cook. Like I just learned how to like boil pasta recently. <laughs> so I'm feeling really good about this. All I can make is cereal. So <laughs> you're not a terrible cook compared to me. Trust me. Okay. So like I, was, I feel like the Ten Penny household is fun at Christmas. Do you guys have food? Tell me about the recipes. Like do you have food traditions? Okay. Yes. So my, so my mom and my aunts are awesome cooks. And yes, food is the best part of by far. I mean, you, you got your ham, you got your turkeys. You got your mac and cheese with Ritz crackers, um, which is my favorite part. And then, um, I don't know. I mean, we just have a little bit of everything. Honestly, it's it's pretty uh, pretty wide variety of foods. Okay, and of so- course, tons of sweet tea and some, you know, some alcohols, some wines. Oh, and- do you have a go-to drink? Are you like an eggnog person or what is that? I do, we call it boiled custard. Boiled custard? I don't know. Like, it's pretty close to eggnog. It's not the same thing, but it's boiled custard. In in the south, you can get it at, at uh, any grocery store, and then you just kind of spike that up a little bit. What's the mix? I mean, there? rum for sure, um, but I don't know. I just put tequila on everything, so just I, go. I know it sounds weird, but it's the truth. Okay, so do you have any favorite Christmas traditions? Uh, I just you know just being with family, honestly, watching movies, being with family, watching football. It's uh, pretty simple around our house. We don't do anything too crazy. Okay, you're going too fast for me. I'm I, I'm. <laughs> I'm home. I think I iced I keep the wrong thinking, I, keep, I keep thinking it's a race. <laughs> no, it is a race. It's a but race. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think got, I'm doing a really good job. You're doing a great job. To see how this. I think we're all doing fantastic jobs here. Um, this is a little harder than I had originally anticipated, and I'm confused at how well, you're staying together so well. I'm just glad that we have a um, a little mold here to help us out. Yes, the mold is definitely helping. <laughs> <laughs> helping both of us out. It's just like, where does this big piece go? I feel like there's extra. Now I. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's not that's the roof you have right there on the. Is yeah. this right? Okay. No, well, hey, man, it, it, it's any architectural design, it's art, so you can do whatever You're, you want. You know what? That's what I'm gonna Some, tell myself. Someone somewhere would buy that house. I bet my mom might like it. Should I <laughs> my, mom, will you watch this video and tell me I won? My mom said it was good. <laughs> That's all um, that matters. Okay, so Mitchell, as I am in beating you in this house building contest, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your new Christmas album, which first off, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I love Christmas music. Um, and I love Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, your house is amazing. Um, <laughs> oh my, guys, <laughs> I think mine's broken. Mitchell, did, did anyone leave Mitchell alone in the gingerbread houses? I think he's sabotaging me. <laughs> oh man. Um, that's, no, you're doing great. Keep it up. Okay, thank you so I, much. I love Christmas music, and it's been a you know a few years of making this record. Now I finally get to have my own Christmas record. You now I've grown up loving everyone's Christmas record, so this was just uh, icing on the on the gingerbread <laughs> house, if you if if, of course, if I may. Of course. <laughs> and <laughs> I think I'm doing it right. I don't know. 
<laughs> okay, so I feel like when it comes to Christmas music, everyone has like very specific songs they love that they really like. How did you decide and narrow down what you wanted to include on this? And was there some that almost made the cut that didn't quite? Well, for uh, yeah, they were just, you know, some of the classic songs were the ones that I, I, I do love singing personally, but a lot of it was just, you know, I get getting to write my own songs, my own versions of some of those songs. See, that's in the way you got to learn and improvise. I, I love to write songs, obviously. So it's fun to write Christmas songs because I think a lot of that pressure is taken off when you get to write a Christmas song instead of a normal country song. Oh, really? Why? Why so, so? You just feel like it's a little more fun. It, yeah, it's just more. It's. I mean, it you can be a little bit more goofy. You can be like not be as serious. And so it is kind of fun to get in the room and especially in the heat of July and write a Christmas song. Um, that's kind of what we did with a lot of these and you know make them fun, make them make them songs that I would want to hear personally uh, on a Christmas mix. And um, yeah, I mean, I think we got a, a little bit of all that on this record, and I'm. Ex no excited for everyone to hear it. Now, did your did you play it for your family, like when it was fully done, or did you tease them before and show them a few things you're working on? They haven't heard any of the new songs. They've heard <gasps> still a haven't? few. No, still haven't. Oh my! When do Which, you when do you show them? What does that look like? I mean, I guess around Christmas. <laughs> That's your Christmas gift. Like <laughs> I got you this album. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, they would love that. I'm sure. No, uh, I um, I think it literally just comes down to. Uh, you know, I gotta keep them waiting a little bit of anticipation, and then you bust it out when uh when the macaroni comes out. <laughs> You're like, okay, hold on, here we go. Although some of them we gotta, you know, we got a little explicit on some of them, so Mama might not oh, need to hear some shoot. of them. Oh we'll shoot! Okay, wait. So what, <laughs> what can you tell us about that? That's what I want to hear. <laughs> you know, we just gotta tell it like it is. <laughs> Sometimes you get caught under a mistletoe, and one thing leads to another, and you don't make the Christmas party. <laughs> You don't. <laughs> Nobody gets to see the ugly Christmas sweater because I ended up staying home. Oh my God, Mitchell, um, that's good. <laughs> but we, we will see. I don't even think, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so now, Mitchell, are you a good gift giver? Like, what does that look like for you? No, I'm not. You're I not. need to know exactly what you want. Otherwise, it's going to be something you probably don't. I I do listen and I hear everything people say, but like, I just, I'm, I'm terrible at gift giving. Like, I, I want to be good. I have so many good gift givers in my family and, and on my team, but I'm just, I don't know, I've never been good. Okay, so what's the what's the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Oh, uh, by far my first real guitar, my parents. <gasps> how old were you? What was that? Oh my, what was that memory um, and how old were you? It was awesome, it was, uh, I was. <laughs> <laughs> my, once again, mine is broken. Mitchell did sabotage me. <laughs> you're, you're doing really well. But y'all see, the, I, I'm putting ample icing. It's like, it's it's absolutely a faulty one. and It's not me. Oh man. Um, <laughs> Okay, so you, so Christmas morning you No, got yeah, Christmas guitar. morning my uh, I was probably 12 years old somewhere around there and I had one of the Gibson Les Paul more than anything, but they're, you know, very expensive and my my family you know, I had Christmas, it all happened. We did the, open all the presents. I was very happy and my dad was like, "Did you get everything you wanted?" And I was like, "Yeah, dad, it was amazing." He goes, "You're lying to me, son." I'm like, "I'm not lying." He goes, "I can tell." He goes, "Go check under our bed." And I went in there and there was a good, that Gibson guitar case. I'll never forget it and opened it up and it was my first guitar. I still have that guitar. It's like my Do you get my to play it position. ever or you just have it like I leave it at home like now. I don't take it on the road because if something happened to it, I would freak out. But I just remember like for a, two months, like uh, every day after school, I just want to come home and just stare at that guitar and just open it up. And Now is that what started your love, for, or you loved music before, but that was like, the, you feel like that was the kickstart that you needed to really... I was in bands, like I, I was loving being in bands with my friends and like that was the guitar you, like that all the rock stars had. That kind of let me, I wasn't good enough to have that guitar, but it made me think that I was and confidence is everything, right? And so I, which just be confident over there, just <laughs> Oh, I, I mean, it's gorgeous, like, just, obviously. Just continue to know what's happening. And I think that helped me want, I mean, when you have that guitar in your hand, you want to become a better guitar player and learn more. And I definitely think that that um, was a huge reason of why I continue to play. <laughs> Things are going really well for me and I'm excited about that. I really can't get over the sheer difference so far. I feel like you've had an hour to work on this. I'm running um, out of icing. I wish I had more, but we'll Same, I'm running on icing as well. So we'll I did work. actually use it um, on all the wrong parts. And I think that's why. <laughs> okay, so from everything on the album, original classic songs, Yep. Okay, that's a no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that didn't look I thought it was going to. What's your What's your favorite? You think what What song do you hear and you're like, oh, I'm really proud of that one. There's a song called Naughty List that I, that I love. That's just I don't know. It's just a fun song. There's I don't know. There's a few that's hard. I just did a duet with with my girlfriend Megan. It's our first real duet that we've ever done. So I'm really? excited to have yeah. it out. Yeah, and we wrote it. You know about going home for Christmas first time with her. She's from Canada. So that's that's a pretty special song. I'm I'm excited. That one I know my mom is gonna really love. Oh, that's gonna be, and especially her family too. I'm sure they're so excited. 
Oh, well, yeah. I mean, her mom, they're, they're, they love the Christmas spirit. And when we go up to Canada, it's, it's, always, it's always a blast. So I can't wait for them to hear it as well. What was that first Christmas like? <sighs> it was awesome. They were just so, uh, you know, you're nervous the first time you meet of the Of course. Did you bring the, a the, gift? The what was your go-to? I mean, we, yeah. I mean, I let Megan pick it out, but we've, we, you know, we went and got it. I mean, she knows her parents better than me. So we did that. And uh, I don't know. It was just one of those things you got to do you got to meet the parents and, and my first time i really did was during christmas which is pretty uh unique so it was it was a fun time dad you know they all love to drink too so you know it's easier when you can drink with people let let loose a little bit That's so true. It's, it's a lot of fun so uh, it was a good time okay good, so good we have this. an icing delivery oh more icing okay excuse me That's for him. All right, Beto, who needs more help here here we'll split it we'll split it Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I'm confused that Mitchell Cash about this together. I am confused. I didn't. I haven't even had. To... <laughs> Mitchell, yeah, have you done this before? You have. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, it's just terrible. I'm, I'm trust honestly me. about to knock his down. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Mitchell gets the sweater and the good house. This is unfair. Trust me, I wish I didn't have the sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not joking. This is actually harder than it looks. The pieces did not make sense to me. <laughs> me neither. I don't know. I don't me think, neither. I don't as think you <laughs> perfectly put it together. I don't think I did it right, honestly. Okay, It'll be here fun. we go. Back to the icing. <laughs> Back where it all began. Okay, so I'm putting the the good finishing touches on the front make it perfect what was it like when she first met your family uh say my, my mom loved her immediately and uh her family actually her dad and her sister got to and her little niece got to come down so my mom got to hang out with a baby which my mom absolutely loved more oh, than anything. my family we haven't had babies in a while yeah it was just it was easy and that's it, it was organic it was easy uh, everyone just kind of you know it just worked out and that's i think that's how you want it and now, did you have to sing for them? Were they like, Mitchell, we, you owe us a song? <laughs> no, they no, because she's a musician too. So I think so they they, they've gotten they've gotten plenty of singing. Like that's when everyone's just breaking and hanging out. We don't really do the Christmas Carol thing. Like actually, I lied. We did, we did do a Christmas Carol like uh, two years ago. Okay, you you know what? Honestly, I need is dang gum, and I pushed that in. That that wasn't smart. Oh, just push it in a little further. <laughs> it's done. Break, break the it's done. Yeah, I've, I've pushed things in all the wrong places over here. I mean, I'm pretty. I don't know how to do like make it any worse. I think it's pretty much as bad as it's gonna get. Are your are your hands covered in icing, or is that just me? Uh, well, I keep eating it, but yes, <laughs> they are covered in icing. Um, okay, so Mitchell, I think mine's almost done, and she's gorgeous. I don't want to upset you, but she is good. I, I mean, like that's pretty good. That look, like if I was in the woods and like that was my shelter. That? Like, I'm probably not getting wet. So, like, I See, think you're you know you're good. what I think? I think that was, like, a horror movie. And it's like, do I walk into that? I don't think I do. Oh, no. I think okay, now, I feel like yours belongs in the North Pole. Can we get, can no. we see this full thing? I got to come around to this. This is still terrible. Oh, we look We just at got that a bunch of M&Ms. The... But the, I haven't got to this side, but we'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Oh, and that's the front door. Now, see, I yeah. totally missed that. The front door is not there yet. I'm, I'm working on it. Okay. All right. But anyway, I think, yeah, I, I mean, I, I can live in there at this point. I think we're good. <laughs> this is your I dream house it, you're it, designing? Yeah, it's got room to grow. Okay, now wait a second. What was your strategy for this? Because you went in thinking about it. No, the front door is gorgeous. Oh, no, the, yeah, that's gorgeous. <laughs> that's what, well, yeah, that's the word I would use for sure. <laughs> gorgeous. Truly stunning. <laughs> yes, it's truly something. <laughs> yeah, I just want a little outline of the, of, the, uh, of the door. We'll get her turned around here in a minute. So you obviously, you obviously have the collab. If you could collab with someone else in the future, who would it be? John Mayer. Come on, John. Let's do a Christmas song <gasps> oh, together, please. Oh, what did you think of Sob Rock? I love it. I'm a, I'm a big John Mayer fan. I'm a huge John Mayer fan. So to me, that's like the ultimate. I mean, he's he's the man. Okay. And that record, and I'm, and I'm a ballad kind of guy. I just, I love ballad songs. So Sob Rock was just, was just kind of perfect for me. Mm. Oh, I know we talked about this at the beginning, but was there a song that almost made the cut for this one that you were going back and forth on? Um, no. Oh, for Christmas? No, yeah, for honestly. We, we chose those pretty early and we just kind of went with them because, I mean, I kind of knew what Christmas songs I wanted. We, we picked out a few and I, honestly, it just took me kind of humming the melody to be like, oh yeah, yeah, that's the one I love. Just easy songs to sing. Some of the, like, the classics, like, you know, like I love Jackson 5 mm. and uh, just hearing them do a bunch of Christmas songs, just kind of like, we did, a, we did a, a rock version of one of their most famous Christmas songs. So I don't know. It's just, I, I brought a lot of influences and stuff I loved to hear when I was growing up and just kind of made it our own. That is special because again, Christmas albums like there's so many fan favorites, and it's always fun to see them reimagined. Oh, absolutely! And these we kind of reimagined some in a little different way. We went a little rock on this on this last bit on these four new songs that no one's heard yet. And because uh, I come from that kind of background, I love rock music, metal music, so we kind of did a 
a little bit of Christmas oh, metal. Ooh, on would you table. ever do like a more rock album? Have you thought about I that? I would absolutely love to do that. Ooh, is that in the cards? Uh, it's definitely in the cards. I would I would love to do that. That'd be a lot of fun. You know, let's just have to see what happens. <laughs> One step at a time, we build a gingerbread house. We do Christmas. Yep. Okay, so Mitchell, the most important question. Yep. What did you ask Santa for this year? Honestly, I just want to continue to tour and play music. And that would be an amazing gift uh, that all my family and friends stay healthy. Mm. Um, that's important to me because uh, we're all getting older and uh, watching my mom, you know, get to see her kids whenever we can. That's Aww. that's always special. So and my brother's in my band, so we don't we don't get to see her as much anymore. So whenever, you know, we get to come home and see her, she she loves that to death. So what is that like for your mom to see both you and your brother on stage? Like that's got to be. I mean, she loves seeing her boys do anything together. Um, so let alone play music, which we all love. She's going to love this video. I can't wait for her to see it. All right, I'm done. <laughs> That's as good as I can get. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> um, so I think mine looks really, really good. <laughs> so I think bad. I'm finished. I could have done a few more things, but I think it's in a really good <laughs> That's, I mean, that's really good. I like how you just, eh, what's a roof? I'll just lean it on the no, side No, I literally was house. like, I was like, I have to use this guy. <laughs> you got to come around. You got to get the full, yeah. the full picture. Oh, that's okay. So I get it. Yeah, oh, so, like, well, you have candy no, out on your front porch. No, this is the front. This is the front. Oh, sorry. Yeah. The side porch. If you, if you didn't have air conditioning, you now have a nice vent for the air to go right through the house. And see, and I wanted to feel if open. If it was a little warm in there, it's a very little, open a concept. A nice, like, I love sharp it. lines. I really wanted that. It's, it's beautiful. It's and perfect. now yours is okay. Oh, look. Look at that. Okay. No doubt, just fell. Okay, but that's a nice store. I like the marshmallowy walls, the attention to detail. So do we do we vote, honestly, and who had the better one? I mean, I think you do, honestly. You had the more creative. I went plain old Jane gingerbread house, so. I'll give you the victory. Plus, you, yours, <laughs> although it doesn't look it, I think it's more structurally sound than this one. Are uh, you saying, <laughs> I, I'm curious, if I take this away, No, no. <laughs> what happens to the side I do wall? love to see, yeah, now I have candy for the kids when they come to the door. <laughs> That's nice. Um, Mitchell, thank you so much for, for making gingerbread houses with me. This was honestly so fun. I, I love it. Now, do we get to eat them or just destroy them? Or what do we do? Oh my God, I honestly want to destroy yours. I, <laughs> I'm so mad at you. I love that you just want to destroy mine. Go for it. Just take it out. Mitchell, thank you, th thank you so much for being here. Thank Congratulations. Naughty List is out now. Stream it and get in the holiday spirit. I mean, look at this. Come on. Come on.